You know how people usually use the calendar on a Mac? They open it, type in an event, close it, and hope they won't forget. And then suddenly, oh no, I've got a meeting in five minutes. Today, I'll show you how to make the calendar work for you. Colors, categories, reminders, time zones, and of course, a couple of cheat code keyboard cuts that save more time than any cup of coffee. The calendar on a Mac can be incredibly flexible. Want day view? Press Command-1. Week view? Command-2. Month view? Command-3. Lost track and not sure what today is? Command-T brings you right back to reality. And if you need to flip through weeks quickly, command with the arrow keys will do it faster than you can blink. And don't limit yourself to just a 9 to 5 schedule. In settings, you can stretch the view to 16 hours a day, so you'll see both your early morning runs and your late night calls with colleagues in New York. In the top bar, there's a small but important icon, the inbox. That's where all your invitations land. Accept, decline, or maybe for those who are always undecided. Your response is sent back instantly. Below, in the list of calendars, you can delegate access, share your schedule with colleagues or family. There's also a hide all button that hides the chaos with a single click. Perfect if you want to pretend you're on a day off. One of the nicest features is colorful calendars. Create separate ones like work, family, finance, fitness, and personal. You can choose any colors you like, even custom hex codes. I once picked a palette from Pinterest, and now my work schedule looks more like a stylish Pinterest board than a boring list. Here's a tip. In settings, you can choose a default calendar or switch to selected calendar mode. Any new event will go straight into whichever calendar is highlighted on the left. Quick and no extra clicks. In Calendar, there's no need to suffer through manual entry. Just type in the title, call on Monday at 2 p.m., and the date and time will fill in automatically. Prefer using the mouse? In Week View, highlight the time slot you need, and the event is ready. Want it to last all day? Drag it up and voila, an all-day event. Even faster, copy an event. Hold Option and drag, you've got a clone. Or go Classic with Command-C and Command-V. And if you got carried away with copies, select several events with shift, click, and hit delete. Clean and simple. Add a meeting location, and Calendar will remind you when it's time to leave. Yes, it even takes into account your current location and traffic, so you can finally stop saying, I'm already on my way when you're still putting on your shoes. Turn on sync with reminders and all your dated tasks will show up right in calendar. You can drag them to different times and check them off when they're done. And new reminders can be created right here with the plus button or a click on an empty slot. One reminder is usually not enough. That's why it's better to set three, one a day before, another a couple of hours before, and a final one 15 minutes before. This way, you definitely won't forget. In settings, you can turn off default alerts so they don't pop up for every single event. You decide what matters and what can be skipped. If you live between New York and San Francisco, or even between London and Berlin, turn on time zone support. Switch the time zone and all your events will update automatically. No more late night calls at 3 a.m. by mistake. macOS Calendar plays nicely with Google, Outlook, and Exchange. Connect everything and you'll have one unified system. Want your coworkers to know when you're busy? Delegate your calendar. It's much easier than sending screenshots over and over again. That's it. Calendar on the Mac isn't just a list of meetings. It's a powerful tool. Set it up once, and it will keep saving you from chaos and forgetfulness. If this video was helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. Which calendar tip turned out to be the most useful for you?